Evil Dead Rise. Welcome back to Lost Legend TV. I'm Ray. I'm James. <laughs> We're doing Evil Dead Rise. <laughs> <laughs> I adore this movie. I really enjoyed it. I wouldn't say it's a perfect movie. I really enjoyed it. Like it was something completely different, mm -hmm. but still, it felt like it was still in the ambience, the atmosphere of the original Evil Dead. Yep. There was a few things that I saw coming. I could predict. Okay, they're gonna do this. There's a few things I didn't expect. I thought the acting was good from all the uh, all the actors. Uh, the little girl, it was so beautiful. Like she she did her shit. I, I just loved it. There were some gruesome attacks. Cheese grater on the leg. Whee! Old girl drinking, like eating the glass. Uh, that was fucked. I don't want any parasites in my tummy. <laughs> <laughs> Kobe! Even from like the opening scene, I love this movie. You're talking about some badassery cinematics in this bitch. And I love the callback to the original. Tell me about the opening scene. Because I think I missed it. I think I was a few minutes late to the movie. I'm reviewing this for you. Yeah. <laughs> Not them. You have been canceled. So the opening scene, one of the biggest Easter eggs you see is the classic POV shot, like the demon POV, how it goes like through the woods and shit. Yeah. But it was a drone. Oh, okay. You see the parallel? Yeah. This guy was just like flying his drone out by the lake on the pier and shit. There's this other female, and I'm guessing that she is the friend of the guy's girlfriend, which is inside the cabin. So she goes in inside the cabin to check on her. Shit gets weird. <laughs> Like, she's sick. She acts weird immediately. Hey, girl, what the fuck up? Your boyfriend's out there acting weird and shit. You know, just fucking around. She's just sitting there sleeping. Mom under her breath because she's sick. She decides to go in the corner, sit in this fucking chair, and read this book. And next thing you know, she looks up. And this bitch is just, like, fucking sitting up like The Undertaker. Mm -hmm. And she's reading the goddamn book that the bitch has in her hand, like, word for word. And it freaks her the fuck out. Turned obscurely a child's face looking through the window. And the girl who is clearly possessed at this point, but she don't know that. She starts getting sick again, vomiting. She falls down on the ground. The other girl comes over there and checks on her, of course, like a good friend would. And this bitch just comes up and fucking scalps her with her bare hands. Damn. We go back to the guy who was on the pier, still flying his drone. She goes out there, the scalp girl, and she's her crawling. And she's like, help, help. The guy's like, oh my God, what the fuck is going on? The woman who is possessed nonchalantly walks up, does not attack them, and looks at the lake. And she's like laughing. And she throws the goddamn top of the bitch's head at the boyfriend. And then she catches the drone. The fucking blade is still turning, puts it to her neck. And it's like, Zzz! and then she falls into the water. The boyfriend jumps into the water after her. Big mistake. Yeah, that was that. And he gets pulled down, dies. Fatality. And then she fucking levitates up. And all you see is like this bitch levitating in this most beautiful cinematic shot I've ever seen. And behind her, you see rising with her, Evil Dead Rise. The boy who found the book, and he brought it back. Danny. Yeah, Danny. I can understand him bringing it back. But once she had opened it, and you saw those pictures, I at no point would have put those records on. But Curiosity, yeah. I also thought, too, it was a very clever tie-in. I thought it was a very clever way to write into the script. Of how the high rise being on top of an old bank. Yeah. And the old bank. Because, you know, people did, did that shit back in the day. Yeah. They locked shit in the vault because the, the Necronomicon, you know, you can't destroy it. Nope. It's not going to happen. So they locked it away. Mm -hmm. So when an earthquake happened, you know, they had a hole in the parking lot. They saw the old fucking bank vault. They went in there. You saw it was very religious-esque. Fucking crosses hanging on the wall. Found the record. Danny is very into music, so naturally, his curiosity is like, hey, what's on this record? And then he found the fucking book. He's like, man, what the fuck is this book? Should he put two and two together? Yes, very quick-like. I get him playing the record because he just wanted to see what's on it. Mm -hmm. So it was inevitable that it was going to happen. The one thing that threw me off is why all this chaos is happening, which we'll explain. I was like, why the fuck ain't Danny getting his first? Because I'm not saying I, I dislike Danny, I didn't, but watching the movie, I thought, go after that motherfucker, he caused this. But he eventually does die in a very heroic way, saying, you know, trying to save Grace, but yeah. he couldn't. I liked the Bruce Campbell cameo. Where was Bruce at? Because I didn't see him. He wasn't in the movie. I know, like, voice-wise. He was on the record. Oh, it was this one. He was one of the priests. I thought that was what it was. Also, there was an MF Doom poster in Danny's room. Good taste. Yeah. I loved the transformation. Yeah, dude. Ellie's performance to me blew me away. Dude. I was like, holy fucking I, shit. Even when I knew the line was coming, I still loved the line, Mommy's with the maggots now. Yeah. Fucking love that line, dude. And then just like the way she was like 
manipulating Cassie. Mm-hmm. It's really hard for me to believe that a child wouldn't believe their mom, yeah. even in that situation. She's young, she don't understand. She's young, she doesn't understand. I can't be like, why did she open the door? Oh my God, she's still young. Mm-hmm. It's her mom's voice. And she was, bro, she played that shit. Killed both of them, Cassie and yeah. Elisa. And again, for the whole part, I thought Bridget was going to do something. I was trying to think, how, why did she turn? Because I didn't notice the actual, like... She disappeared for a while. Well, where the hell is she at? Mm, she went into the kitchen. Like, I saw her walk into the kitchen. And then I knew when Beth came in there, I was like, yeah, it's too late. She's yeah, fine. well, she was on the fucking counter. That's it. Fucking. <laughs> yeah. Like, goddamn. Fuck spider and shit. Oh, yeah. Uh, I had no hope for Mr. Fonda. I knew he was going to die. I, like, the moment I met the character, I was like, the motherfucker's going to die. It baffles me. That that girl did not hear all that shit happening. Jessica or whatever. I want to say a floor or so below her or above her. Oh, yeah. Blondie, yeah. Yeah. Notice that. She was getting railed. Even then, you <laughs> still here. Only thing I can think of is she was like, she she got drunk or whatever, and she was just out. I like how it just, it really mostly took place in the apartment. Just right outside of it. They didn't have to do a bunch of extra stuff outside. Mm-hmm. And then fucking Ellie climbing through the fucking vents. And then popping up behind, behind yeah, her. Yeah, dude. I knew when she heard that cat, I was like, oh, they're fucked. Yeah. They are fucked. Oh, Game wow. over. And then when they, like, melded together. But that, that shit was gross. I, I didn't see that coming. I knew when I saw the page, I put two and two together. When yeah. Beth was looking at the page. But when I actually did it, because I thought there was, like, tearing Ellie apart or something. Like, they were sticking the goddamn arms in the fucking stomach and shit. But then they just thought. fucking merged together like a yeah. goddamn spider. That shit was terrifying. Oh, yeah. It was creepy as shit. But that point where they was trying to go under the damn the door and she got Cassie got pulled back in I was like oh shit yeah I was I, like oh man I not almost, Cassie I almost thought that was gonna be the end of the movie I legit almost thought that was it roll credits I, yeah I would've been so mad oh I was like no don't do it like not this not Cassie you know <laughs> Staphne I love Staphne <laughs> A little doll she made. Yes. The shining blood scene or whatever. Like, yes, you know, like, the, like the elevator. Know. I always think of the shining just because like fucking the blood and yeah. it's an elevator. And it, it looked really fucking dope. It did. There's so many love letters to other horror movies. And like just call back to the original. Like some of my favorite things about the movie is just ode to the original. Like, I've got about to talk about this earlier. When Ellie started to transform, instead of the tree wrapping around her, it was the elevator wires. Yeah. Good parallels, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And I did that so much. I laughed my ass off when she fucking turned fully and went back into the apartment and the bitch just started making eggs. <laughs> yes. I was just thinking about crawling inside of you. Like, like just like the yeah. way she said that. So, like, I would have lost my shit. Ruined me. I probably time. would have been in bat like, the eggs <laughs> on the ground. I was thinking about fucking food, right? Come on, man. <laughs> it, it's just funny because even to the last time Ellie was talking, mm-hmm. she was talking shit. Yeah. Like the demons would. Like they always did in the movies. Yeah. And I respect that fully because it's so funny. Like, this is such a terrifying take on the franchise. And these demons are just fucking around talking shit. Mm-hmm. And I love that. You know what else surprised me? She killed the motherfuckers in the hallway, right? I thought that whole scene was brutal. She got him swallowed the goddamn eyeball. Mm-hmm. Then spit it up into the other dude's mouth. Mm-hmm. And then she choked on it. That was dope. But what surprised me, why I didn't see coming, is how she transformed the other people into demons. Mm-hmm. Beth and Cassie were trying to get away to that door, and all of them fucking turned. Evil dies tonight. Evil. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, they're saying dead by dawn. I know, but Which I is just... another callback to the original. Yeah. It was very well done. Like, every bit of it was really good. I'm, like, I can't think of anything specific that was like, dude, that was fucking terrible. Or, there was nothing. You know what I mean? Again, the acting was good. I liked the ending of it. Like, the actual, like, with Cassie and Beth. Yeah. The only thing I can say is I know that Beth failed Ellie. Because, like, the last thing Ellie said before she fully lost her trouble was, don't let them get my babies. And she did. Yeah, well, All she said she said Cassie. She said Cassie. That's, She's one for three. Yeah, it's not good odds. Not good odds. Not, not unless you're a basketball player. Th- shooting 33%, it's not bad. It like, was just a very well done movie. The way they did attacks and shit in this was so well. When the characters transformed, it was definitely like seeing a, like a full on different character. It wasn't like yes. hints of that character before. Bridget was very timid. Like, when she turned into the, the, the fucking demon, boy, she was not even close to mm-hmm. that. And, bro, when she just started, like, vomiting that shit up, like, oh, my fucking Those God. Those fucking bugs and shit? Dude, yeah, that mm-hmm. fucked for me. Like, oh. The final take on the movie is I'm satisfied with it. Cannot say that enough. Like, I am satisfied. Forgive me because I can't remember the director's name. Uh, I thought I thought it was a fresh take on the franchise. Yep. But I can still feel the fucking ambience of Sam Raimi. You know, Bruce Campbell. I know there was attached to 
the project. Yeah. And I can still feel essence of the Evil Dead because you guys don't know Halloween is not my favorite franchise. It's Evil mm-hmm. Dead. I fucking love Evil Dead. To me, it's a win. Yeah. For me, as an Evil Dead fan, it's a win. I wouldn't give it a 10 out of 10. No, I enjoyed it. If I had to rate it out of 10, I'm probably going to give this a solid... I'm going to give it a solid 8. Yeah, I was going to say 8. I would go 8 for this movie as well. I thought it was a very good movie. I would be definitely up to see a sequel to this. You know what I mean? Like another in this franchise. The opening is actually events that take place after the last scene of the movie. Mm. So that leaves room for a... A sequel that gives this room to expand any fucking where. Yeah. Now, do I do I want to see this? It's gonna have to be done right because once you expand this so big, there's a lot of room for error. I don't want a whole bunch of demons in goddamn Los Angeles or Detroit fucking taking over. You have mass demons. You have another Resident Evil movie. I don't want that. I just feel like that's not the move for me. That's not the move. That's not what I want to see. If you did different stories of different families in the way you did this one, sure. Yeah, yeah, sure. So if you haven't seen the movie, go see it. We probably should have said spoilers before we didn't. It's a very, very well done movie. Let us know what y'all thought about it. Uh, what was your favorite like kill or attack or anything like that in the film? Or even just your favorite scene? Please drop it in the comments. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, all that shit we gotta tell you. We gotta, we gotta make money somehow, y'all. So please help us. And if you like this, please let us know. Thank y'all. And until next time, this. Adios.